Direct live from Marseille, I'm very, very pleased to welcome here on the International RFID Congress TV show, Sakamura Sensei. Welcome to Marseille, welcome to Europe, and it's a big pleasure, Professor, to have you on stage. So my first question, Professor, uh, will you kindly introduce yourself to the viewer, please? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Ken Sakamura. I am a professor at the Graduate School of the University of Tokyo and have an office in the brand new uh, smart IoT building on its campus. And I also serve as a director of an independent research and uh, development institute uh, called YRP, Ubiquitous Networking Laboratory, UNL for short. Uh, UNL is one of the uh, few institutes in the world uh, which are uh, dedicated solely uh, to the R&D of IoT or ubiquitous computing. Uh, my vision of the future computer usage is uh, that objects in our surroundings uh, are embedded with computers and sensors uh, to become intelligent and offer smart services to human users. Uh, through my R&D, uh, I am building the infrastructure for this vision to come true and have been doing it for 30 years in our computer project called Tron Project. A tremendous project that uh, we have already the opportunity to talk about it. Second question, Sensei. Um, can you describe the contents of your talk, of the conference? Because you're going to give us a talk, and I think it's important yeah, yeah. to summarize. Oh, uh, in my talk at this conference, I would like to share with our audience our many interesting, amazing IoT our application being developed in Japan. Oh, uh, unlike our many pre previous RFID applications uh, proposed for supply chain management and logistics. The application which I have studied and uh, proposed including applications for traceability system for race horses, honeybees, and others. Uh, the Ginza Street Town Guide and Round Road Maintenance System that is made possible by embedding a thousand and uh, markers there. Uh, today, uh, many prototypes our applications which I have helped to create are now being turned into uh, full-fledged applications. Uh, it is time for real applications after era of feasibility studies. Uh, I hope the audience will understand how such our applications are made possible by using our application framework, UID architecture. Thank you very much, uh, Sensei. L next questions. You know, have a new office, which is definitely uh, probably the most tremendous example of smart building. Can you describe us about this okay. incredible and amazing bu building? In oh, oh, they are very amazing building. Uh, there is a strong interest uh, in the research of applying the IoT to buildings uh, since the big earthquake. Oh, that hit Japan in March 2011. Oh, so our new smart building has been built on campus to create and try real-world IoT applications. Aside from seeking comfort and energy saving, uh, resilience in times of disasters in a new goal of smart buildings. Uh, objectives such as ramps, air conditioners, elevators, our sensors of many types are connected to the internet directory and they can be monitored or, con or controlled by programming them from mobile terminals. Our uh, sensors, cameras and markers are installed inside to monitor the condition of the building and they are used for programming energy or usage management, uh, security management, and eco-friendly environment control there. That's extraordinary, and uh, we would really appreciate to, to visit it uh, when we come to, to Tokyo. An event or a killer application may be necessary to the lot paradigm 
to be accepted by society widely and deeply. Mm -hmm. Professor, what do you think will be such an event or a killer application to mm -hmm. trigger a wide adoption, say, mm -hmm. in Japan? Okay. In Japan, uh, we expected the Tokyo Olympic Games to be held in 2020. Uh, will be a great uh, facilitator to introduce useful IoT application uh, to the society. Uh, interesting IoT applications based on the location aware of services such as simple sightseeing guidance or complex uh, food suggestions to those who have dietary uh, restrictions and many other interesting IoT applications will be offered. Uh, regional government offices, uh, public or transportation operators, many software developers in private sectors will be ready to welcome the visitors with such applications then. Uh, right now, we are busy implementing uh, the infrastructure. Uh, for example, installing many markers along the roads to help the uh, challenged people. That's we have seen a video explaining the concept and it seems extraordinarily impressive. So <laughs> it was very short. We are very, very close to the conclusion. Professor, you've been carrying out research on topics related to the IoT for the last 13 years. What is long time indeed? But can you share with us some comments based on our experience? And that will be your conclusion, Sensei. Uh, I have learned that open approach is very important i think because the uh, iot infrastructure need to be accessible to and used by everybody uh, this year is the 30th anniversary of trump project and uh, we have secured i uh, consumer electronic society's technical sponsorship for the annual symposium to be held in 10th to 12th or December in Tokyo. The symposium is called 2040 Toron Symposium. Oh, please drop. Oh, if the viewers plans to come to Japan in December, uh, also it is an inconvenient time just before Christmas. Thank you very much and merci beaucoup. Domo arigato, uh, sensei. Thank you very much and please come back anytime you want. This stage is your stage. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah,